Howdy folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, The Mighty Bjorn. And today for you, I'm going to be talking a little bit about D&D here. This is something I've been kind of getting back into, been pretty much got a group back together and start playing D&D again. It's been many, many moons since I've played actually any d and I've been playing other tabletop RPGs, but d and has been kind of on the back burner over the years. And, um, well, today's focus is primarily going to focus on talking about prestige classes and just an idea that I'm working with prestige classes. For those of you who are not familiar with prestige classes, my understanding is the 5th edition has gotten rid of prestige classes. Um, what it is, is it's a, per se, it's a more advanced class. So there's prestige classes geared towards the various core classes. So fighter would be your core class, rogue, ranger, so on and so forth. And then from there... You could either multi, if you want to enhance your class more, you could multi-class, like become like a ranger rogue or uh, a fighter wizard or something along those lines. Or if you wanted to enhance your class, but uh, generally keep that class and make it more kind of themed, if you will, you could press each class. And essentially what it would do is, is it would take something that that class does and enhances it even better, uh, such as the fighter could actually become a knight defender, which is, a, a well, in general terms, it's a, a knight. Um, you could also take cavalier. There's a bunch of different ones that you could take. Uh, martial artist was one particularly. That's That works for the fighter, but it was more for the monk. Uh, you could also take duelist as a fighter. And then, you know, the wizard would have its own prestige classes and the, the cleric and so on and so forth. And like I said, the idea was is it would take what the class does and enhances it even further, making it even better. Such as with a druid, you could be, you could kind of do a shaper style druid where you're mostly focused on doing polymorph type stuff. Uh, transforming into different creatures and animals and etc. But a prestige class was a wild shaper. And that would take that shape-shifting ability that the, the druid has and enhance it even further, making it even better. And it kind of cranks the character up to 11. Now, of course, with that being said, the prestige class would have minimal requirements for joining or, or for taking said prestige class so you might need certain skill points in certain areas, certain types of feats. Uh, some even had racial limitations, such as the Dwarven Defender has a racial limitation. Uh, the Knight Defender does as well, because with the Knight Defender, you can only be human, half-elf, or elf. But I've been kicking around this idea to take prestige classes and actually kind of add story to it uh, so that way it's not just, oh, here you, you've got all these recommend, you've got all these requirements fulfilled here is your prestige class. Now I'm doing it where I'm going to set up quest and storyline and etc. And I just thought it was a cool idea. And I would just take a few moments to share what I have as ideas. And, and I think it's a great way to add story and life to the game to uh, help your players explore their prestige class, if you will, or, or what they're striving towards with their prestige class, what their prestige class is mostly about. So here's one, you know, just to add additional adventure and et cetera. The, the one that in particular I, I'm kind of doing some work with and kicking around is... Uh, we have a fighter in our party, and he actually wants to become a knight defender. So I've been... <laughs> it just kind of works out, too, that th this this is going to work out this way. So there's a, a town that we've been doing a lot of adventures in, that the party's been doing a lot of adventures in, and there's actually going to be an upcoming enemy siege in said town. 
And I was going to be implementing a night during the defense of the town. So, you know, hopefully I can kind of quest hook that character off to maybe doing some stuff with the night to learn what it's going to mean to be a knight, uh, what it takes to be a knight, et cetera, et cetera. Kind of do like the squire thing without the character really becoming a squire, if you will. Another one as a point of interest, too, is we have a wizard in the party as well. Of course we do. It's Dungeons and Dragons. And the wizard actually wants to become a mage of the Arcane Order. So essentially, he wants to take his wizard abilities and crank it up to 11. So, as a little side project for that player, I have him writing a letter of intent for to join, essentially, the Mages Guild. Because that's actually one of the requirements is uh, essentially becoming a member of the Mages Guild, the Arcane College, if you will. For me, it's the Mages Guild. Essentially, it serves the same purpose as the Arcane Schools. Maybe you have like a magic college itself, if you will, something sort of kind of like uh, what you see in Skyrim or in Harry Potter. Another one also working at, too, is the party rogue actually wants to go from being a rogue to a thief acrobat, which essentially is, well, it's a thief that uses acrobats as acrobatics as part of their thing, you know, kind of jumping from rooftop to rooftop, you know, pole vaulting, swaining, tightrope walking, etc., Think of a circus acrobat that likes to steal stuff. That's that's a thief, a thief acrobat. So for that character, I thought I would set up some type of adventure to make them explore the idea of being a thief acrobat. Maybe they have to try and get into a tower or a castle or some other type of structure, and realistically, the only way they can get into that place to steal that item is maybe go from one location to another location from rooftop or, you know, swinging or pole vaulting or whatever uh, I'm going to come up with for that adventure. And that's going to be multiple adventures over time to make him explore that character more and more and that prestige class more and more. But yeah, that was pretty much something I thought was a cool idea that I've been working on and thought I would share that idea. And hopefully it helps you, any of you, game masters out there maybe go along the same lines of so you know you want to do this with your character cool let's make that an adventure anyway folks hopefully you all enjoyed this video thank you very much for tuning in and have yourself a wonderful day